Hey there, welcome to another episode of Coach and Coffee. Today we have Pete's Coffee Dark Roast. Oh yes, dark roast is the way to go if you say otherwise you're wrong. <laughs> Unless you're going to try some pumpkin, uh, pumpkin spice or blueberry, but occasionally. Blueberry? Blueberry Except I like the I like the initial taste, but the aftertaste, because I've only had blueberry coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. And the syrupy aftertaste I did not enjoy. That's because they add syrup. Yeah. I'm talking about just blueberry coffee. I've no never syrup. seen it. Anyway, okay. it's good. Uh, so today we are going to talk about uh, using hand towels Waboom. for grip strength training. Um, because hand towels are... There's not a whole lot to them compared to like a thick rope or a bar or something. They take a lot of grip strength um, and there's a lot of different exercises you can do with them to develop better grip strength for things like ropes, um, like an actual full rope climb, uh, some of the little ropey rig things that they have, something like, um, oh, what's the one at Savage Race? They have several. Uh, holy, Twirly Bird. Twirly Bird, Holy Sheet. Yep, Holy Sheet. Savage is probably going to be, you'll get the most benefit at Savage from the Spartan. Not as applicable, but if you want. Well, I mean, you'll if, develop the strength. It's just like they don't have things that hard at Spartan. Right. If you want 100% obstacle completion and you train with a towel, you're going to be able to get that. Yeah. That's for sure. It is very simple. You can literally just throw it over the bar so one end, end is hanging off of each side of the bar and you can do things like pull-ups, chin-ups, uh, you can do dead hangs, you can do seesaws, all these different exercises with them and you don't have to just use one once you've developed enough strength. Uh, so let me change that a little bit. If you're climbing up a rope, if it's really thin, it's going to be really hard. It, once it gets to a certain thickness, it gets a lot easier. And then once it gets to a certain uh, even bigger thickness, it gets harder again. So you might see people use like fat grips, they're called, and attach them to barbells and things that to build more grip strength. Harder. Yeah, because you can't your wrap forearms, your whole hand around it anymore. Your forearms will be on fire. I used to do like <clears throat> bicep curls, deadlifts yep. with those. That is tough. So the difference between using uh, a one towel and holding both sides and using two towels and trying to hold all of that towel in one hand on each side is pretty challenging. Uh, so that's a different way you can train it. So you can use two towels, you can use one towel, um, you can do grip switches. What other exercises? You can do the seesaws. We just actually filmed that for our uh, grip, uh, grip, grip Gains, gains ebook. Yeah. Yep. Um, but the best part about it is you don't need much equipment. You need nope. a bar and you need a towel. That's it. And yeah, for like people who do um, OCR, most people don't spend a lot of time in the gym or they work out from home. So this is perfect for that. Perfect add-on. Especially add -on. now, home workouts. Yes. So, but. Yeah, hand towels, what, like five bucks? And uh, you can find a bar at pretty much every playground ever built. So it's going to cost you about $5 to do that. And that'll get you through almost virtually every grip strength obstacle you can think of at any of the races. There might be some that are slightly more challenging than that just because of how technical they are. But grip strength wise, towels pretty much the pinnacle. For but, training. Yes, and the key is to be functional with it. So if you're using a pull-up bar, you wrap the towel around it, do grip switches where you go from the bar to the towel to yep, the bar. Yep. Because when you're doing monkey bars or twister or something like that, you're moving, you're functional, your body's flying through the air. And this will give you a chance to kind of practice that, but then also to build up the core strength and just to get practice with that functionality. Because a lot of people just do pull-ups and it's like, okay, you're going up and down but you also have to move forward. Or on Twister, I go backwards. Backwards, yeah. So practice doing that. If you throw in a towel like that and do like seesaws when you're backwards, I mean, you get creative like that, but it will make a huge difference. So you're, you're building functional grip strength and a whole lot of it too. If you don't know what some of these exercises are that we're mentioning, um, we have released an article at this point for grip strength training. And if we haven't released it yet, it'll be coming out soon and we'll link that in the description below. And we also have our Grip Greens program on truefitnessocr.com. Uh, go to the training programs and on there we have this program with uh, different towel exercises in it and we have demo videos for all of that. 
So it's there and you will know what they are. Yes. And I just thought you can use the towels besides just a pull-up bar. You can do uh, you can do bicep curls, you can do rows, you yep. can do farmer carries. Farmer carries, inverted rows. You don't even need a horizontal bar. As long as you have a stable vertical bar, there's different exercises you can do for grip strength. Dumbbells, kettlebells, like you said, carries and everything. Right. So what you're trying to do is just make your life harder to make your race easier. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's, exactly that's about right. the best way you could possibly say it. <laughs> yep. So if you don't have one, which most people do, pick up a raggedy towel like this one, throw it over a bar, maybe two of them, and start practicing. You'll get really good grip strength and you will thank us for it later. That's right. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you next time on Coach and Coffee.